Namaste yogis. Welcome to Pani's workout. I am Mala Nirwani and we are here today to learn a mudra which is the Konch Mudra also called as the Shankh Mudra. So before getting into the pose, let me tell you something about the Konch. So this is the Konch which is a, a musical instrument and it has many mythological stories. It holds a really great uh, uh, place in the mythological stories and it is associated with religious beliefs as well. So, uh, before telling you about the benefits and everything, let's start by getting into the pose. So, let's be seated in a comfortable position. Sit bones grounded, your hands resting in your heart, take deep breaths. Now keep your left hand facing towards yourself and your thumb facing towards the sky. Now uh, before that the most important thing is uh, the thumb is the fire fire element and now what we're going to do is we're going to embrace this thumb and protect it in the most lovable way we can so start by keeping your hand facing towards yourself thumb pointing towards the sky and now take your right hand and circle the four fingers of your right hand and wrap it around your left thumb so now uh, you have covered and embraced your thumb passion now we are going to protect it more so uh, right now both the thumbs facing towards the sky now we are going to take the four fingers of our left hand and wrap it around the four fingers of our right hand so that the pointer finger of your left hand touches the thumb finger of your right hand and now place this close to your sternum that is below the throat. I want to show you how it looks like. Looks like this. And now we have uh, uh, made a conch with the help of both the hands and embrace the thumb and protect it in all possible ways we can. Now let me tell you the benefits of this pose, of this mudra. So the, we we may we do this pose like in the similar way the conch blowing a conch has so many benefits to our respiratory system to the lungs and uh, the, our vocal cords. Similarly, this mudra has the similar benefits. It expands our lungs. It creates a cooling effect in our body. The heat in our body needs to be balanced and with this pose we not only create a cooling sensation in our body but also cure this pose this mudra cures a lot of ailments so people suffering from fever rashes or uh, you know, stomach ulcers will feel a great relief in their body if they practice this pose daily you can do this mudra on the other thumb as well. You can protect the, and embrace the other thumb as well and calm the heat in your body. This pose is more effective when you chant or continuously. It creates a sensation in your respiratory tract, in your chest, in your lungs, and has a number of benefits. So. I would encourage you to do this pose while chanting Om uh, after doing your meditation or uh, after doing your yoga class. This has a number of uh, positive effects in your body. So I hope this was really informative and helpful to you. Hope you practice this. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.